welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a new review of another tablet, this time from XP Pen, the Artist 22. You might see a lot of similarities in this product from the UG2150 because they basically are the same thing, uh, with just a few minor differences. Uh, if you guys like, uh, as always, please make sure to give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more reviews coming soon, and uh, let's get straight to the review. The XP Pen 22 HD is a 21.5 inch 1920 by 1080p resolution IPS drawing tablet monitor. This is your basic resolution for everything classified as high definition. The benefits of this being an IPS monitor are that the viewing angles and the true rich colors the monitor puts out. The monitor can be viewed from many angles and really only seeing some color degradation when at extreme side viewing angle. The colors of this monitor are spot on, and there is little to zero calibration needed out of the box. The monitor has 2048 levels of pin pressure sensitivity and comes with two rechargeable pins in the standard package. 2048 levels of sensitivity is a standard for most pin tablets, meaning that you can apply as many points of pressure to see a difference in line or stroke size. The pins have two express hotkeys located on them that can be customized to about nine assignable shortcut keys. This monitor has HDMI, DVI, VGA ports for all of your output needs. Cables that are included in the standard package are USB, power, DVI, HDMI, and VGA. Also included is a mini DVI adapter, cleaning cloth, a brush, screen protector, a pin stand, and an extra nub holder and an XP Pen Artist Glove. There's more technical terms and more specifications I could be that I could list, but these are the ones I find most important. The recognizable name in this product field is Wacom with their Cintiq line. As for myself, a person that's never used a Cintiq, I can only comment on the differences simply on paper and from what others have previously discussed. Commonly described as a Cintiq alternative, here are some of those differences. The Artist 22 has no express keys at all. Express keys are keys that are on the front face of the tablet to enable shortcuts to certain functions like undo, erase, move, zoom, and more that can be customized to your liking. With the pen having two buttons on it, I set them to erase and color picker for easy use. I also found that as long as your keyboard is near, this shouldn't be a problem for the average user that has no experience with Cintiq anyways. The glossy glass screen is quite the contrast to the Cintiq that has more of a flat plastic surface. The gloss tends to reflect the light that you have in the room and makes it hard sometimes to see the screen clearly. The gloss also tends to stick to your hand as you try to move it for larger brush strokes. It's a good thing the XP Pen recognized this problem and included a very comfortable glove in the standard package to help. It's a two finger glove that leaves your thumb, index, and middle finger free to grip the pen naturally while covering your pinky and ring finger to help your hand slide across the screen. The prices between the Cintiq 22 HD and the Artist 22 HD are night and day, with the Cintiq HD non-touch version coming in at $1,799.95 USD currently on Amazon, and the Artist 22 coming in at $609.99. The price comparison isn't even close. These key differences are what I can see affecting a lot of consumers' decisions when purchasing these similar products, with over $1,000 price difference being the biggest factor of all. So let's talk now about the monitor build itself. The stand provided works well enough with a single latch that you hold up at the top of the monitor to have the stand slide up and down. It's made of a thick plastic and has rubber grommets on each of the four foot contacts. The only issue I've seen with the stand is I just didn't find it comfortable for extended periods of time. With my current setup, I have my monitor on a movable arm so that I can bring the tablet to me instead of moving to the tablet. So yes, it is Visa mount compatible also, which is a plus. The screen has a glossy finish as I mentioned earlier. and has quite a gap between the glass and the point at which your pen is displayed on the screen. This is described as parallaxing. The gap only really becomes an issue towards the sides of the screen. With most of the work you do being towards the center, this really isn't a problem. One of the problems I ran into when using the provided stand is the cable placement located at the bottom of the monitor. 
When adjusting it up and down, some of the cables would get caught under the monitor and wouldn't allow it to go all the way down without me reaching behind and pulling the cables out of the way. Just a minor inconvenience, but an inconvenience nonetheless. So while we're on the subject of build quality, we might as well discuss the similarity between this and other Cintiq alternatives. I personally own and have been using for quite some time the UG2150. These are the exact same product, with only a difference in the packaging, which eh, was actually much nicer than the UG, and the name on the front of the screen. I don't know the logistics of Chinese manufacturing, but all I know is that both of these products work great. The pins included have a great weight to them and feel comfortable in your hand. Included are extra nubs located in the stand for the pin and two charging cables for the pins as well. A full charge on the pins will last a couple weeks, depending on how much you use them, of course. The only issue I ran into is the sound that the pin sometimes makes when moving across the screen. I believe that the screen protector is included to help prevent this noise, but with me previously trying to get the screen protector applied without any bubbles on my UG2150 and failing, I didn't even try on this unit. As a suggestion, I would hope that these screen protectors could come pre-installed from the manufacturer in the future. Other than the cable placement, I am really impressed with the build quality of the Artist 22 HD. With the solid construction and a beautiful display, I can't say much bad about it. Installation of the drivers and software from XP Pen were the easiest that I have ever encountered. I used the CD provided, installed, and rebooted in a flash. After the restart, I was getting ready to do the 9-point configuration tool like I've done with other products, but realized that the configuration was already spot on. It was a very nice surprise from having so many issues from other products before. All of the other configurable areas of the software are ready from the start, with only one suggestion to turn the pin sensitivity all the way down. I felt like I had much more consistent pressure control with the slider at the zero position. So let's break down the pros and cons of the Artist 22 HD. Pros being, with it priced at $609.99 USD currently on Amazon is an amazing deal. Uh, screen size, resolution, color reproduction, quality, all the outputs you could want, and all cables included. Software and driver installation was really smooth. Now for the cons, the glossy screen, uh, slight parallax, cable placement at the bottom of the monitor, stand can make it uncomfortable, but Visa mount compatible, and no express keys of course. With the pros definitely outweighing the minor cons of this product, I can't help but have to recommend this to anyone considering this unit. Much like the UG2150, well, exactly like it, this product has an outstanding value that can't be beat. Stop thinking about it, just go buy this right now. So that's going to be it for the review of the Artist 22 HD. Thank you very much for watching this review. Uh, if you do like it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. Um, you can also find uh, a lot about me on my website, seekontwitch.com. Uh, and then also check me out on my live stream where I demo these products live for viewers as well. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys for the next review.